Hey everybody, my name is Dakota Decker. I'm the Chief Technical Officer at Geo Orbital. And today I'm gonna to show you how to install your new Geo Orbital wheel onto your bike. So this is our demo bike. Like most bikes you'd find in a store or in your garage, they have this silly powerless wheel in the front with spokes. Worthless thing, we gotta get rid of that. First thing we need to do is loosen the brakes. Then down at the quick release, rotate this lever 180 degrees and twist it counterclockwise a few times until it's loose. Then simply hold the wheel and lift the bike right off it. Nice and easy. Now we'll grab the Geo Orbital wheel and reverse the process. So align the axle with the fork, push down firmly so you're sure that it's seated on both sides. And then take the quick release, just gonna spin this clockwise until it's snug, and then take this lever and rotate it 180 degrees. That should take a bit of force to lock it in firmly. Then we can tighten your brakes back up around the rim. So there's one more support point on the Geo Orbital wheel here. This is the torque arm. This is meant to react the force out of the motor, make sure we don't damage the forks at all. So what you wanna do is take the entire wheel and rotate it forward until these rubber pads hit the fork. Then take these two rubber straps, wrap it around the fork and back over the torque arm. And the same thing on the back here. These don't need to be really tight, just make sure they're snug. And then finally take your throttle, just pull out a little slack in this line, take the clamp, wrap it around your handlebar, hook it onto the bottom, and just tighten that lever like so. Now to turn on the wheel, simply turn the key here to the on position. Then on the throttle itself, there's a small gray button on the side. Press that and you'll see the lights come on. Now I'll show you how to charge the battery as well. You should have received a charging adapter with your wheel. Plug one end into the wall there, standard wall socket. You'll notice when the battery is not plugged in, there's a green and a red light. Now if we go to the battery now, you wanna rotate this little knob here next to the key. That'll reveal the power input. And take this end and plug it right in there. You'll notice now on the charger, the lights have turned red and red. That means that the battery is charging. When the battery's full, it'll go back to red and green so you can know that it's finished. Now you can also charge the battery outside of the wheel itself. So come back here, we're gonna turn the key back to off. And then if you push the key in and rotate further, it'll go to this unlock mode. Now you have to remove the key to get the, the battery out. Grab the battery firmly and pull up. And it should just slide right out the side. So that's the battery there. There's a handle there to carry it as well. And the exact same thing, you're just gonna take this side of the charger, plug it into the battery, and notice that it's charging. So you can charge inside the wheel, outside the wheel, on the bike, off the bike, have multiple batteries, swap them back and forth. Very easy. Now we'll just put this battery back in so you can see that process. Same thing as taking it out. Make sure it's still in the unlock position. Start at the top here. You'll feel it latch onto the uh, locking bracket and then push down all the way. Key back in and turn it and that'll lock it in place. That's it. Your wheel's good to go.